Um, I recently lost a significant amount of weight and I have, you know, I, I've lost about 50, between 50 and 60 pounds and I'm not exactly sure uh, because when I started the diet, I um, didn't weigh myself and then I went out of town on vacation so I wasn't sure exactly how much I weighed when I started, but I have been... Um, you know, struggling with my weight pretty much my whole adult life. Moved out of my parents' house or my mom's house, I, you know, started eating crap and drinking a lot in college and, uh, you know, I just started putting on weight and then I lost it all and kept it off through, you know, through graduate school and, you know, my mid-twenties, I guess. And then I slacked off and gained it all back. Then I lost it all again for my wedding in 2011 um, through Weight Watchers, which is the first time I ever tried it. The first time I lost the weight, it was through exercise, diet. Um, you know, I was still relatively young in my t early 20s, early to mid 20s. So I was able to just, you know, change my diet, cut out some things and still lose the weight. Whereas, you know, as you get older, it gets a little bit more difficult. So for my wedding, I... Uh, did Weight Watchers for the first time and I was really hesitant to do Weight Watchers because I know that counting points can seem really tedious. Counting calories is a lot more difficult, at least for me. Like I am totally math challenged. I'm not good at math at all. I don't like math. It's not fun. Um, so, you know, doing calories just gets to be too um, tedious, I guess, for someone like me. And then also trying to calculate in um, calories that you burn while you're working out and exercising, you know, and trying to factor in um, you know, if I exercise X amount, I'll burn this many calories and I can consume this type of food and it just, it just gets too, um, you know, tedious and I can get a little bit obsessive about it and it's just not, not a good approach for me personally. So when I lost the weight, uh, successfully, um, in 2011, it was with Weight Watchers and I was really good at it. I, I did really well. I lost about 70 pounds, which is probably, I mean, and honestly, in retrospect, probably too much weight. I got to be pretty thin, um, you know, and, uh, you know, like on my, after my wedding, when I started putting on a little bit of weight, uh, you know, my friends and family approached me and were like, oh my gosh, you know, you were so skinny. Like, I'm so glad you're starting to put weight back on. You got way too thin. And I'm like, really? Really, assholes? You couldn't have told me that? Like, you know, people that I love, you couldn't have said, hey, uh, maybe you're getting too skinny. You might want to stop. Maybe they did and I didn't listen. I don't know. But I just know that, you know, uh, they all told me that I was too thin. And then when I look back, you know, I probably was. So, however, I gained it all back. So, it, it didn't matter. You know, I didn't maintain it. I wasn't able to maintain it for, for uh, you know, ever. I maintained it for probably about a year. And then I just slowly started putting it back on. You know, there's just, there's no rhyme or reason to it. We just start eating crap and we start you know, exercising less and drinking more and I just stopped calculating and I maintained my membership with Weight Watchers but I just didn't calculate quite as often and I gained it all back. I just, you know, really started hitting it hard this year. May 1st, I joined Weight Watchers and the reason I joined then is because they had a pay for three months, get four months and I lost, a, you know, you lose the first month and then you get motivated and you continue to go and I had the four months so I was like okay well obviously I'm you know not gonna just throw them away so I did that and um, I reached my goal weight and it's now February I reached my goal weight last month which is January so from May through January it took me that time to lose the between 50 and like I said 50 and 60 pounds um, so that was a really long backstory. However, for the purpose of this intro, I did um, film everything that I've eaten for today so that uh, you know other people can get an idea of what I eat to lose and now to maintain my weight. So I will go ahead and put those videos together right after this and you can see what I ate just for today and I will probably continue to do that, you know, um, once in a while or, you know, maybe frequently depending on how I like it. Um, to show you guys what to eat to lose and maintain your weight. So um, the videos will follow, my whole day will follow this intro. Thanks. Here's what I might have for breakfast, um, an example of what I would eat for breakfast to lose and maintain weight. So you can see I have some cereal there um, and some almond milk and a banana. Now the key is the serving sizes. So as you can see, the serving size for the cereal, let's see, it's not gonna focus in there. There we go, it's three quarters cup. And a serving size for the almond milk 
is one cup. Now, a measuring measuring cup is the key to all of this. So what you do obviously is measure out the exact amounts that you need of each each item, and then um, you know that way you know you're getting exactly the amount that is allotted, so you're not overeating. Because typically, you know, you'll just dump a whole bowl of cereal and not even measure it and not pay attention. So um, that's what I would eat for an example for breakfast as a way to lose weight. Um, and I'm, you know, I do Weight Watchers and uh, on Weight Watchers the cereal is three points and the almond milk is one point, the banana is zero points, that's four points total. Uh, and then if I'm still hungry, you know, I'll have, I have fruit here, I'll have an apple or some oranges um, as a snack and those are also zero points. So that's an example of what I might eat for breakfast. Okay, so I'm here um, once again showing what I eat to lose and maintain my weight. I already did a video on what I ate for breakfast, so here's my lunch. Um, now, I've never tried this before, but I got it at uh, Costco, and it's Bolela Pita Pal, um, a Mediterranean salad, and I've, it, I've just had a little bite of it, and it's pretty good. It's kind of spicy, but pretty damn good. It's Mediterranean salad, has chickpeas, black beans, spices, herbs, so a half a cup of that, as um, you know, I said in my previous, uh, my morning video was that I am doing Weight Watchers, and as you can see, it's I marked five points on here for a half a cup. So in the bowl here is half a cup of that um, bean salad, and I also put a quarter of a cup of rice, jasmine rice, that I had cooked. I have a rice cooker, so I'll cook a good amount uh, maybe at the beginning of the week and then eat it throughout the week. And then I have a plate of veggies here. These are all zero points, and even if you're not doing Weight Watchers, you know, vegetables are always good filling um, things to have. So I have some broccoli, cauliflower, um, some cut up uh, bell peppers, sweet bell peppers here, some uh, cherry tomatoes, these are actually from our garden, and they're delicious, they taste like candy, um, and uh, some baby carrots and cucumbers there. So I might also add, uh, you know, normally I might add like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of hummus, which is one point for the certain brand that I get from Costco, um, but since I'm having, you know, chickpeas in the salad here, I thought that might be overkill. Maybe I'll have that for a snack later. If I do, I will video it. But uh, I have measured everything, of course. So that is what I am going to eat for lunch today to maintain my weight. I'll see you guys at dinner time. Or no, actually probably snack time. I'll see you guys at snack time. Okay, so I'm back now to show you guys what I'm gonna eat for a snack in order to lose and maintain my weight. And um, so I have two Wasa crackers here. These are the light and crisp um, kind variety. Um, so two of them is only one point if you're doing Weight Watchers. And um, it's, you know, they're really, they're really good. I think three is two points. Don't quote me on that, but I usually only eat two. And then I have um, one of these Laughing Cow. This is in Swiss flavor. Laughing Cow, the spreadable cheeses. Um, one of these is one point, and I spread it over each of the two crackers. And then I put some lunch meat. Um, I think uh, for this variety, this type, this is turkey. So um, two slices, I believe is zero points because six slices is one point. So, um, you know, it's a numbers game there. And then the tomato is zero points and the pickle is zero points. So this whole snack here is only two points. Two points, one point for the cracker, one point for the cheese, and then everything else is just a bonus. So this is a very common snack that I will have. And then, dependent upon how I'm feeling, I might also have a Diet Coke with it, um, a Diet Dr. Pepper, a Diet Barks Root Beer. Those are the three diet sodas that I will drink, and I know I've gotten the lectures about how diet soda is not good and stuff, but you gotta have one vice. So I only drink one periodically. So anyway, that's the snack and I will see you guys at dinner time. Hey, so I'm back to talk about what I'm going to eat for dinner. Um, and I said, I think in my lunch video, that I had cooked a big portion of rice, and that, you know, I'll cook it in my rice cooker, and then I'll eat it 
throughout the week. So that's this, you know, my leftover rice that I have. Um, and then last night I had made a broccoli, I mean, sorry, a, a vegetable stir fry with beef and a sauce, a prepackaged sauce. Um, and it's this brand, this Lee Kum Ki. <laughs> that's a funny name. I never said that out loud. Anyways, um, this sauce, and this is a broccoli beef, but I actually made, last night I made the um, Korean barbecue flavor, uh, I, but I don't have the package anymore. So it's, um, this one is 35 calories for two tablespoons, and the other one is actually more, it was 60 calories for two tablespoons. And I believe it's like one or two points for a serving. And you know, so then this is this is what I'm gonna eat right now. I just took a half a cup of rice, which is three points, and then the meat and sauce. You know, I'll guesstimate that that's probably about two ounces of meat, and you know, probably three, you know, spoons of the sauce or something. I, I usually just guesstimate, and then you know, the stir fry vegetables are zero points. Um, I usually weigh everything. Here, let me just go over here to my. Food scale, I have a food scale. I weigh all of my meats typically using this. Um, I got it at Costco and you know, it's digital. You just turn it on there like that. Uh, however, when it's with sauce and other items like, like this meal that I'm making right now, it's kind of difficult to measure precisely what everything is unless you pick out the meat and it's just, you know, and then it's still a sauce on it. So, you know, I just more guesstimate. Um, but, that's what I'm going to be eating tonight. It's delicious. These sauces are pretty awesome. Like they're, you know, they're, um, I just get them at the regular grocery store. I mean, I live here in California, so we have Albertsons, which is our grocery store, and I buy these and I have them on hand for whenever I just want a quick meal. And Tuesday nights, which was yesterday, I needed a quick meal. Um, so I just made this. So that's what I will be eating tonight for dinner. Now, I'm not sure if I have, I'm gonna have a late night snack um, or a nighttime snack. I'll just turn the camera around here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a nighttime snack. Uh, I probably will, because I'm going to have points left over after this meal, no doubt. And so I will, you know, be filming that if I have it. So, what I eat for dessert or whatever. So, I usually have a, a bunch of points left over at the end of the day, and I try to just kind of eat them all up, because um, that's what I like to do, and I'm still able to lose and maintain weight doing that, so that's not a problem. So I'll go ahead and film that if when I eat something else later. All right, see you later, bye. Hi, so I'm back um, at night, a couple hours after I had dinner to discuss what I might eat for a snack. Now, I haven't actually decided yet, but I thought I'd put out a couple options of my go-to snacks. So one of them is uh, these Kella, Special K um, cracker chips and it's 1.410 chips. There's 30 chips in a serving, so I will count out 10 chips, and that's one point, 30 chips is three points. And I'll have that with this um, single holy guacamole, which is three points. Um, so I'll just you know dip those in there, and that's a four point snack. Or I'll have this 94% fat-free single serve microwave popcorn. It's a bowl, it's like a small, you know, smaller serving. I don't know if you can really tell by the package, but a smaller serving than normal. And that's two or three points. Um, I have to look it up in my logger to know, but that's, you know, regardless. If Even if you're not doing Weight Watchers, all the foods that I eat, if you ate them and didn't do Weight Watchers, you would still lose weight because essentially you'd be doing Weight Watchers without you know, counting the points. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, and then if I want something sweet, I might go for a Vita Top. Um, this is the chocolate. I really like the chocolate. I'll put it in the microwave for about, I keep, they keep them in the freezer, they're frozen. Put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then um, I'll put two tablespoons of the fat-free whipped topping on top, and that's zero points. This is three points, so that'll be a three-point snack if I wanted something sweet. Or I will have this Trader Joe's reduced guilt brownie mix, and for you, I measure it out. I put it in a bowl. I measure out 28 grams, um, which is what the serving size I think calls for. Which is odd that it's in grams, but um, no, one twelfth of the dry mix. I don't know what that equals out to because obviously if you want to figure that out you have to dump it all out and then measure it out into 12 servings. But anyways, um, so they also have directions on here of how to cook it for serving 
um, single serve in the microwave. So that's how I do it. So I usually take, I follow those directions there for the, um, let's see, which one do I? The dairy-free, yeah, the dairy-free option. So I take applesauce and water. I don't add the vanilla. I just do like one tablespoon of applesauce, one tablespoon of water, mix it in with this brownie mix, put it in the microwave for, what does it say, 45 seconds, um, 30 seconds, and uh, that's it. Then that comes out, you know, it's delicious. It's like a warm brownie. And then um, I'll add two tablespoons of the fat-free whipped topping. So that'll be a sweet snack. So I'll have a, I have the salty and then I have a sweet option. And sometimes I have enough points, like tonight, I think I have enough points actually. I mean, you guys saw what I ate all day. I have enough points to have each a salty and a sweet snack. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and then there are days when I don't have any points left and I will then have fruit if I'm still hungry. So an apple, banana, oranges, um, you know, obviously there's millions of other types of fruit you could eat, um, whatever's your favorite. I'm just gonna turn this around here. Um, and, you know, Sorry about that in the background. My dogs are playing um, and barking, as you can see here. Uh, so anyway, so that's, I showed you guys everything I ate, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, snack at night, and that's on Weight Watchers on my maintenance. Um, I have, I consume, you get 26 points if you're losing weight, you get up to 32 points if you're maintaining your weight. Um, I have been maintaining my weight and I'm eating between 30 and 32 points every day. So you see what I eat um, every day and I'm able to be full and satisfied and I still get, you know, the foods that you may think normally you wouldn't get on a diet, but, um, you know, we can discuss how that's, this isn't a diet in another video. I just wanted to show you guys what I ate uh, since I had, you know, people that were showing interest in that type of information. I can make more of these videos, you know, and show different meals on different days if there's any interest or if I think that I want to do those types of videos. So, um, thanks for watching and I hope that if you are on your weight loss journey that you get something from these videos. Um, it's, you know, it's not easy. I know it's not easy and I'm on the other side of it, so you know it's easy for me to say like, oh, you can do it, and blah, 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 but I've done it several times, as I said in my intro, and you know, my goal this time is to just maintain it. I've Losing it is not the hardest part for me, it's maintaining it, so my goal in um, keeping with, you know, managing my points and everything is to maintain my weight this time around because I do not wanna have to do this again, and it's really unhealthy to go up and down, and I go up and down so dramatically, that it's got to be taking a toll on the insides, you know, my insides and my body. So, um, you know, hopefully this will keep me a little bit more accountable by making videos like this. And I can also help someone else who might want, you know, just some ideas of what to eat. So if you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you. Um, I won't see you, but you'll see me in my next video. Thanks. Bye.